we're really excited to introduce you to the Aquador 250 HT. The 250 HT follows the 300 HT that was launched last year. As you can tell from the name, the 250 HT is the 300 HT's little sister. Now, there are some sub eight meter boats that offer a fully enclosed cabin or a fully open cockpit. Some offer a Bimini style solution, but there's nothing quite like the hard top design from which this boat gets its name. We'll take a closer look at this design feature, plus a deeper look inside the boat where you'll see a very clever, spacious interior cabin at the front. We're gonna look at the cockpit and modern helm. To talk us through these features and many more, we have Klaus with us today from Bella Boats. Klaus is the technical lead on the Aquador project. Hi Klaus, good to have you with us today. Hi, hi. I can see you're standing on what can only be described as a very generous swim platform. Can you tell us a, a little bit about that and, and what's going on here at the back of the 250 Yeah, sir. HT? It's big, isn't it? It's very spacious. Yeah, it's a modern design and that's what the customers want. Yes. So we, we would like to offer that. Even if we have, a, even we have a only outboards, you, you still have a plenty of room to walk around. Definitely. Now let me show you some, uh, some of the features. Yeah, please do. Uh, for example, uh, anchor winds here, nicely integrated under the deck. So, concealed, no, you, you won't be destroying your toes. Exactly, like no it, trip if it was uh, If it was uh, installed on top of the deck, so yeah. not so nice to lose. Absolutely. Well, I can see here as well, you've got some storage on the back. Yeah, absolutely. Designated places for four times fender, two goes uh, in the front anchor bin. And uh, we have a small locker for lines and ropes here as well. Excellent. Uh, just going back to the swim platform, the, the deck looks quite interesting. What exactly are you standing on? It looks like a massive teak, but uh, it, it, it isn't. It's uh, eco teak. Okay. Environmental friendly material. Very good. It looks really nice. Yeah, uh, it does and feels, feels nice under your feet. Yeah. One thing I've heard about the Ecotik is that it works really well in sunny climates, so it doesn't discolor in the sun. Yes, that is a big benefit uh, compared to real teak, so to speak. It ages or grays, and, uh, but this material stays as you can see it now. Excellent. Um, and another interesting point is the engine option. So this is the first Aquador that has outboard as the only option. Yes. And what what's uh, what do we have here? Uh, well, uh, on this this boat we have a Mercury V8 250, which is the maximum horsepower for this this boat, and um, it has a plenty of uh, power reserve to take even a bigger load. Great, great. And then there's something else I just noticed. We have access to the bow deck from both sides. Yes, absolutely. The idea behind this is that the main access is uh, here from the port side. You have wide general steps, but uh, of course you have still uh, access from uh, starboard side with uh, slightly smaller steps, but uh, together with this nice grab handle and the, these steps, it's easy to go. Perfect. Yeah. So this actually takes us to the hard top, uh, the first major feature here on the 250 HT. So here we have First of all, what looks like a very open boat, but what, what can we actually do here? You can either have it open as it is now, sunny day, open the hatches, open the aft part, so you have a really open open feeling in the boat. Or if it weather, weather worsens, you yes. can uh, close it uh, quite, quite easily. So behind these parts, we have a canopy on both sides. You slide it with the tracks, located here at the roof and uh, it meets here in the middle and uh, within a couple of minutes you have a fully enclosed port. Excellent. So moving forward, we have a light right here. Yeah, those are docking lights. Uh, and uh, <coughs> on this, this model, uh, we have uh, as a standard, we have one at aft, one in bow, and uh, then you, if you think you can get these two at the sides. So with this, you have a 360 illumination, which is uh, really handy when you come at the dock at uh, during dark time. Excellent, excellent. And as I walk along here, I can see we have uh, fuel, so petrol for the outboard engine. We yeah. have diesel for the... Stove and heater. Stove and heater yeah. and water, excellent. 
And now we're at the point where we can see and get a good view here of the skylights that are openable. And just like you mentioned, when they're open, you just see the sunlight and fresh air flood Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Nice feature. Very nice feature. And what do we have here? Yeah, solar pan panels. That is what you need, absolutely need to have a modern boat. They are 55 watts a pop, producing enough power to run, for example, Fritz all the time. Very important. Yeah. Of course, safety has always been a very important aspect for Aquador, and it's yes. the same on this model here too. You can just feel it. For example, in the railing, it's very sturdy and it comes to your knee, so you feel very safe. Yeah. And another feature here is this cleat. When it's not in use, it's flush with the deck, but you can pull it up when you need to use it and then put it back down when you're done. Again, avoiding a tripping hazard. So now we come forward all the way to the bow deck. Can you tell us a little bit about the idea behind the design and what you have up here? Yeah, sir. There are actually many, many features uh, here as well. So for example, this uh, whole front deck area, you can uh, have a big sunbed cousin that takes uh, two, two persons, you can uh, enjoy sunlight. Not, not to forget to mention, uh, uh, we have uh, on both sides, uh, gangways are lightened with the small lights. Really convenient when you walk here at the side when it's a bit darker. Good point. And uh, front anchor bin, it's not just a anchor bin, so it takes in uh, much more features. So let's take a look. Here we have a designated place for bow anchor winds, and, uh, which is uh, possible to install even afterwards. Uh, we have room for two fenders and all the lines, lines here. So you don't need to take anything from the aft of the boat here at the front. Very handy, very handy. Yeah. So now we're making our way, so to speak, indoors. Uh, yeah. You've got a great looking lounge and, and the galley here. Can you tell us a little bit about the layout here? Yeah, sir. Uh, there is so much under, under eight meters. Yes. Just, uh, let me show you some of the features. So for example, a cockpit table, it folds, folds uh, as, it, as you can see it now, so it doesn't take too much space. But if you need, it folds out and it takes up to four people here around the, around the table. Very good. And I can see that you still have access even when the table is open. Absolutely. Good point. All the time you have access in and out on the boat. Very good. But this uh, is a very smart looking galley. What, what, what's going on here? Yeah, we call it actually pantry. Pantry. <laughs> yeah, good. let me show you. So under here we have a diesel stove. Under this hatch we have a pressure water hot and cold. And plenty of storage as you can see. And what's that over there? Yeah, I mean, uh, think about uh, you are sitting sitting here with your friends and uh, evening is starting to darken and uh, yeah. ah, let's put some, uh, how do you call it? Mood lighting. Mood maybe. lighting, yes, exactly. Excellent. So you mentioned this really nice echo teak decking and when you step inside I've noticed one thing mm. everything's on one level well noticed it was one of the most important de design teams to have it on one level very good and then again you mentioned the mood lighting here but lighting I can see yes. throughout the cabin at foot level you can never have enough lightings no you can't board. It's, so it's, let me show how it works. Yeah. You have all the, all the lights are consoled here with the separate panel. So uh, for example, roof lights, it's uh, dimmable like so. And the floor lights come on another switch. So you can set just the right lighting with the mood lighting and then with the dimmable yes, roof lights. Exactly. That's going to be, that's going to be cozy. Yeah, I think so too. 
And uh, talking about the floor, I'm sure you noticed uh, two big hatches here at the cockpit floor. So they are uh, big storage rooms on the board, both of them. And of course, under the sofa, sofa cushions, we have uh, two big storages as well. So storage is definitely not a problem on this boat. No, I would say that this, so, like so. Very good. Okay, let me show you the helm. This is neat. Or what do you think? Very nice. Dual screens, everything flash and nice. All, all the controls you need. Bow thruster, anchor winds, uh, uh, trim, trim, trim taps. You have a digital uh, gas and gear here. Uh, all, the, all the functions that the driver needs are placed on here and uh, everything else was uh, at this panel. We have a good, good, nice uh, storage under here with the wireless charger for your mobile and a uh, place for small stuff. And of course, you have uh, can, can holders. Very good. Uh, how about the driving position? Because from where I'm standing, and I'm sure it's the same for you, the view is very, very good. View is phenomenal. And let me show you. We have a three, three driver position, the normal way, and uh, the, uh, as we call it, the offshore way or standing like this. And you get a great view from every position. Yes. Not forgetting the adjustable steering wheel. Klaus, this looks pretty spacious. What's uh, going on down here in the main cabin? Yeah, it is spacious, isn't it? So you are now sitting on the main berth, which is uh, made for two adults. Then we have uh, down here, we have uh, the middle berth, which is made for two kids. On your right side, behind the door, there's a head with the uh, electric toilet, pressure water, you name it. Then on your left side, a big wardrobe. By the way, you are sitting on top of a huge storage compartment. Just uh, lift it up and uh, take a look. That is very, very large. Yeah. So Klaus, who is this boat made for? This boat is made for small family, small group of friends. It's a weekender. You can see it from all the equipment we have here on board. So you can you can stay on, on board the whole weekend or even a bit longer. That is absolutely true. And you can tell that from all of the space, not only down here, but throughout the length of the boat. Yeah. The storage options, layout in the cabin, how the lounge area is designed. It's definitely made for longer uh, trips. It is. And remember, everything under eight meters. That's incredible. So what do you think? Should we take her out for a spin? Absolutely. So Klaus, how does it feel to sit at the helm? Fantastic. I bet you would like to sit here. I am dying for my <laughs> turn to try it. I just noticed when we set off there that the helm position is actually adjustable. Yes, absolutely. You need that. There are different lengths of people, so important to find the correct position for everyone. Excellent. It's a pretty warm day to test the boat, Klaus. Uh, do we have any cold drinks on board? Yes, absolutely. Look down there, you can find the 65 liter standard fridge, and on the other side, you have the 30 liter optional. So there should be plenty of refreshing drinks. I have to say, sitting here in the co-pilot position, I feel very secure, very comfortable, and my view from here is fantastic. It's like a panoramic view. You can see everything around, and I believe I can stand up and get a good view from up here as well. Yeah, that's important thing. So Klaus, do you think we should take her up the plane and see how she feels? Let's find out. Let's do it. Yeah. Feels great. Excellent. We're already on plane. Yeah. I can feel the power of the 250 engine, so there's plenty of reserve power. And how about lower planing speed? It seems to be really low. We are going now under 18 knots and we are still still up in the plane. So that is a really good feature for a planing hull. If, if the weather is really bad, you like to get the speed down but still be on the plane. Easier to do maneuvering. This feels great. Klaus, uh, I think it's my turn to drive now. I think you've had enough fun. It's maybe... What do you think? You think? 
Yes, absolutely. Well then, let's do it. <laughs>